cognitive dissonance. Hey guys, I wanted to jump on and do a little chat on uh, cognitive dissonance. So it's the relaying of information to you that you're not understanding, that you're perceiving from a point of negative and emptiness, uh, not understanding, um, hatred, whatever it is. It doesn't relay and connect with where I am because I don't have any understanding of it. It's like I am void of conscious awareness from that point of view, which is allowing itself to view it from that point of view. So once you're able to see that separateness within yourself, that this is where I am and this is not in alignment with where, where I am, so I'm not in agreement with it, which is the creation of itself in ignorance to where you are, which is the perspective that we take on all levels because not everybody is at the same place, the same time having the same understanding or experience uh, from that point of view. Now the cognitive dissonance is the relating of the information, like I said, and it brings it to you when you're connecting to it in the dialogue that you're having with it from that point of view, understanding that you're separate, that's your separateness, that's your um, space of awareness, understanding that just in itself being aware that I don't understand that, and so I am fighting against it, or I am attacking it, or I am doing intentional harm, or I am doing something against that which i don't believe are protecting your ego your space your condition your framework and the attachment to that is allowing you to be in suffering which brings about the awareness that i am suffering and so when you're in the space of i am suffering i want something else other than where it is that i am so i can understand it to bring it to me and so that view then takes it on to the next process in evolution where that brings it to you in harmony so you can do it from that point of view and to understand it from that point of view. So when you're in dissonance, it's allowing of other things to come in and pervade your space. So it's allowing, it's not keeping it from you. So you're not really protecting anything. You're not protecting any space that you're believing that you're in. That's a false illusion. So it's bringing it to you whenever you are attaching to it, fighting against it, triggering it. And so every time you bring something into yourself that's not in alignment with where you are, it's opening up a space so you can be where you are from a different perspective. That's about learning it and having the experience and going into that um, space to have the realization. And so the cognitive dissonance is a great way to evolve through that. And though although it, there's suffering and triggers along with it, it's the suffering that brings awareness, right? Because then we have the understanding of it. That's what brings about the awareness of suffering and that of bliss. So where is it that I want and what is it that I'm choosing? Do I want to be in bliss or do I want to keep fighting against the grains of consciousness, the awareness that it is? And so that kind of goes along with the content that I'm creating and sharing the information that I'm channeling and bringing in from the other side, from the near-death experience. You know, a lot of people don't have this understanding, and although I do, and I'm trying to share it with you to help bring about the awareness of it, it brings about, again, the dissonance of cognitive, right? And so that's just your perspective of where you are. And it's going to, you know, maybe rub some people the wrong way, and I understand that, And but I am so grateful for you because you are actually showing up. So you can see it from that point of view, even in your not allowing it, but you're creating that space so you can see from here to there, right? And that's the cognitive dissonance. Um, it's not in alignment with it, but even in its non-alignment, you're creating space for it to be in your space, right? So you're creating the conditions so that way you can have the understanding of it at a certain point in your lifetime when you are ready for it, right? And so you're actually planning to help plant the seeds of what I'm talking about. And so I am grateful to you. It's put me in, into a space of appreciation and love and that what I'm doing is doing right and it's working. That what they've shared with me, you know, even in people's space where they're not ready, it's a great tool to put information out there that at some point they will be ready. And from that point of view, it just puts me in a space of bliss and understanding that it's it's doing its thing it's it, you know it's the awareness of what it is that it is at the time and it can't be anything else other than what it is until it is ready and so that's what they always tell me um a person has to be ready for the information to come in and though 
they may not be ready and they fight against it and they're triggered or they want to put a thumbs down or they want to say negative comments or whatever the situation may be, you know, whether it is on this YouTube channel or out in the world, what you're doing and acting upon that space, you're bringing that into your awareness. So that way you can see from that point of view and have that experience for yourself, right? Because at some point, whether it's a past life, this life, next life, you're going to have that understanding. And so where you are now is not maybe where that you are, that you can connect to what I'm talking about, but at some point you will. And so I am grateful for that opportunity to be a part of the change in your life. So I'm helping those who are open to it and those who are not by planting the seeds, right? And so that's what they tell me all the time from the other side in my channel, my guys, um, to not worry about it, right? And so you're actually helping me to lead you to a better place. So I thank you for showing up and doing the work because at some point you will get it, right? And so if it has to be through the process of suffering, then so be it, right? And so not that I want that to be wished upon anybody, but that's just the way that evolution works. Uh, for what you're not allow allowing or willing to do, right? You are going to go through it by the process of evolution and suffering. Right? Because then that gives you an opportunity to look at where it is that you are and what you're creating. And, you know, a lot of people are passionate about suffering. You know, some people want to go through it by suffering because they don't actually want to do it. And that is the laziness of themselves to do the self-work or to move forward or push through where they are in that space of time and that concept of reality of what they're doing. And what they're having an understanding, the concepts of this is not able to shift and move out until they're ready. And it's accepting that it's just going to allow it to flow through you and to have an understanding as it passes through the generational timelines from that point of view. So you can see it from a higher perspective, which is awareness of source. Right. And so from that point of view, when I'm sharing that with you, it brings that awareness and um, understanding that you can have from outside of the perspective that you're currently holding on to as if it was you, your identity, your ego, your perception and persona, because if it didn't exist, then who would I be? That means you would have to step outside of your cognizance of what you believe. And so that is a struggle for a lot of people. And I get that and I understand that. And so to believe in something that isn't, that isn't where you are is being untrue. And so you wanna be true to yourself. And so you are being your true self when you are disagreeing with what I have to say. And so I love that about you. And to share that in your understanding, it's also though allowing you to connect to that, to allow it to happen for you at some point in time when you're allowing. So I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions on that, um, on what I'm channeling here for you to understand it from that perspective, it's the changing of the interconnected change timelines because your soul wouldn't bring you to here in this moment if you weren't meant to receive the information, the transmission of what I'm giving you um, from the perspective of source and what I'm channeling. And so it's the view that I'm bringing through that you're taking in perspective. Is it matching alignment to what it is uh, where I am? And if it isn't, then I'm gonna reject it. But the timeline is showing and it will say to you that you're going to come back to it at some point because it's kind of like tagging it and I'll, I'll do this later kind of scenario. You'll come back to it, right? And so from that perspective, without really realizing and knowing it, what you're actually doing is creating that space of awareness for it to come through, which is what we call planting the seeds. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or want to understand it from a deeper level. I do one-to-one -one sessions and help you to understand how we are in flow with the universe and how we are divine beings and how we are creating our scenarios and situations to be present within yourself, right? And to have that understanding because we are all evolving from that perspective. And so when we can have that understanding awareness, we can understand what we're doing in our actions, our daily actions, our perceptions, whenever we are acting within ourselves out in the world and how we're being, how we're showing up, what we're doing and what we're perceiving and the house or the perception or concept that we are living in, right? Which is the perception of where we are, right? It's the unconditioned or the conditioned state. And from that point of view, you're able to bring that more in view. It's like the attachment that's being bonded, that's gaining the awareness and wisdom. 
for you to view it from your point. And so your view is important to you because that's where you are. And you're not ready, really ready to step out of it because there's more that you can gain from where it is that you are, right? And the taking up of it, you're having the experience of where you are for the reason that you're having it. And when you're ready to step out of it, when you're done with that, you're able to move into something else. So it's like an attachment to gain awareness of something else later that's being perceived and brought to you now in the moment so you can have that later, which is the evolution of itself, its soul and being because your being, your true self wouldn't bring you to where it is that you are in the moment of this, seeing this, being it in its awareness if it wasn't meant for you to have, right? And it's the sharing of the information and the download of the understanding that's transmuting to you here in the moment that's allowing it to be where it is that you are so you can be a bit later. So I hope that makes sense and I have talked about this in other videos and I kind of wanted to bring this all because like I mentioned, I've been seeing people who are being haters, what they call the haters club um, on YouTube, where they are following you and giving thumbs down to every video that you have the minute they get a notification and then later taking the thumbs off. And you can see that behind the scenes, right? You may not see it on your end because you're a viewer, but we can see it on our end because we have the back end view of everything and we can observe it and see what's going on. But since this is arising, you know, they said this is a great opportunity to share this information with you. And so what you're doing is helping prepare yourself for later to have this information and access to it and understand it. So hopefully that helps. And I love you even when you are not just in alignment with what I'm talking about, but when you are not in alignment because you're helping to create that perspective later. So happy journeys and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.